Hello, this is a basic video to inform students, staff, and faculty at the University of Texas at San Antonio, or UTSA, about the difference between Universal Design for Learning, also known as UDL, and Student Accommodations. We will also talk about some examples of how we can get confused with these two. We must all know that failure to meet modern accessibility compliance standards could result in audits by the federal government via the Office of Civil Rights or the Department of Justice. It could also lead to loss of federal funding or independent lawsuits by individuals or their representatives due to significant accessibility barriers that affect educational success. Let us start with explaining student accommodations. As a faculty or staff member in UTSA or any federally funded school, you are required by law to provide reasonable accommodations for equal access to students with disabilities, so as not to discriminate based on that disability. Student responsibility primarily rest with self-disclosing to a disability services office so that an official accommodation notification letter can be sent on behalf of the student informing both faculty and the student of the student's basic accommodation needs. While the disability services office embraces the uniqueness of the faculty-student relationship as essential faculty will receive notifications regarding a student with a disability and appropriate accommodations to guarantee equal access. Relying on the expertise and guidance available from the Student Disability Services Office will simplify faculty compliance with the law. Student accommodations is not necessarily universal, universal design for learning. The general definition of universal design for learning given by Softchalk is a framework of guidelines that integrates accessibility into the creation of learning materials for digital or face-to-face -face environments so that all students have equal opportunity to achieve the learning objectives and goals thereby being able to demonstrate the desired learning outcomes. Most of the time, we confuse universal design for learning and student accommodations. One example would be when an instructor or staff designs a course with universal design for learning in mind and believes that this will be enough to accommodate any student. There can be situations where some UDL courses or universal design for learning courses do meet student accommodations However, sometimes they do not. We must look at the official accommodation letter sent by the Disability Services Office and see if the design of the course will meet these accommodations. UTSA offers many tools for students, staff, and faculty in order to check the accessibility of their course or content info. One is the Web Accessibility Evaluation Tool, or WAVE for short. WAVE scans web pages and identifies accessibility compliance deficiencies. This tool helps us find issues before we publish any information on the web or course. Of course, there's a lot of tools and a lot of different ways for us to check for accessibility compliance deficiencies. If you need help at UTSA, you can always contact the Office of Academic Innovation. This office brings together experts in teaching, technology, and virtual learning to find innovative and transformational practices that enhance the academic experience of the students and faculty. Their teams work together to ensure UTSA faculty have the tools, resources, and knowledge they need to deliver accessible, high-quality online, hybrid, and in-person courses. 
sources for this video are UTSA Student Disability Services, Soft Chalk, UTSA Academic Innovation, and the Texas Distance Learning Association. Thank you.